So the next form of text output uh, available to us inside of a Microsoft Windows form program is something called a message box. And it's exactly what you'd expect with the name of message box. It's a box that shows up with a message in it. Now, this one cannot be done through the designer. It's not a control or anything like that. It's actually just done in code. So we need to trigger that message box in some way. So in this case, we're going to add another button. So we drag it over here. And this one, I'm going to change this to BTN show message. So up here, I'm going to line it up with everything. And, and I'm going to make sure it's the same size. And I'm just going to change the text here to show. Now, before what I showed you was the way to get to the code for this is to go to the lightning bolt choose click and whatnot. Now if we did the same thing, we go to choose click, it'll show up all the click functionality for the show message button. I'm going to show you a second way. So we're going to go back to the properties panel view. And the second way that I can get to the code for this is just to double click on it. And again, it will auto create this functionality for us, the click functionality for button show message. In this case, I want to show a message box. So um, the new keyword I'm going to look at is the keyword message box, M-E-S-S-A-G. And you can see that it's starting to show up down here. So I'm going to select it, click Enter. Now, before, when we wanted to do change the text property of the label, we would just do dot text. Well, in this case, we're not going to set a property. We're going to use an action an action owned by message box. So the same rule applies. We need to use the dot operator, which means it's something owned by message box. And you see we only have three options here, equals, reference equals, and show. Well, we want to show a message. So I'm going to type in show. Now the difference between assigning a value to a property and using an action is that when we assign a value to something, we use the equal sign. When we're using the action of something, we use brackets. So I'm going to open a bracket. We can see that there's a lot of different options here. We have one of 21 different options that we can use. We're just going to use this one. And we'll see that it's asking for some text. So I'm going to give it some text. So this text is going to say, this is a message. I'm going to close that and close my bracket because that's all I need to do. Now again, any statement in C-sharp must end in a semicolon. So again, because this is an action, we use brackets. Up here, this is assigning a value to a property. So we use an equal sign. So actions, brackets, assignment, equal sign. Okay? So when we run our program now, just up here, we click the start. Our first button still works. We can click change. It says hi world. Our second button, we can click it and we'll see that a message box shows up and it says this is a message. That's it. We can click it again. We can click it again. We can't click back here until we get rid of this message box. So just for demonstration purposes, what I'm going to show you is that we can actually make multiple things happen at the same time. So I'm going to add a third button. This button it's going to say BTN do both. And what it's going to do is it's going to do both the actions of the other one. So I'm going to change the text down here, do both. We better make sure that we can actually read and see what's going on over here. Oops. So we can see this. Now I go to the code for this. And what I'm going to do is essentially is I'm going to do with the two actions that we saw above over here. So I'm going to select the label message, and I'm going to copy it down into the code down here. And I'm going to do the same thing for the message box. I'm going to select it, I'm going to copy it down here. Remember I said you could have one line of code, or you could have five million lines of code. It doesn't really make a difference. What you need to understand, as we said before, is that your code will always be executed from top to bottom. In this case, the label message will get run, and then the message box will get run. So if we run our program, and we click do both, you'll see that hi world 
is actually changed is it sorry the hello world has changed to hi world and we get our message box this is a message so I can click OK on this and I can do it repetitively as much as I want what I want to show you is that how order matters so if I select this line and move it above the label message put it here now and get rid of this empty line of code and we run the program again if I click this do both watch what happens we get the message box saying this is a message but the text for the label still says hello world it has not been updated yet that's because we're still on the message box line of code and until we click this OK button we're gonna stay on that line so I hit OK and you can see that now it is updated that is just to show you that order does matter so be careful in the way that you set up your items and that is a message box.